So I first became a member at the beginning of this year. Unfortunately, it was right before COVID had kicked off. So we weren't able to visit until after Discovery World reopened. When we first get here, well, I first like to go through Great Lakes down to the aquarium. I think it's interesting to see the different cities that are connected to all of the Great Lakes that we have. And then of course the aquarium, because I love to watch the moon jellyfish change their colors. We like to see the jawfish dig their holes and pop out on us and then hide when we peek at them again. And then automation everywhere is probably my ultimate favorite area. We like to see the output that our input produces. My daughter is two and a half. Huh? And she's currently at this molding age. So if you don't get it in them now, if you don't instill it into them now, then it'll be pretty hard down the road. I think that's very important for children to learn and understand at a young age because it shows them that opportunities are limited, limitless. I didn't really have this opportunity as a kid, so I like to enjoy it now as an adult and find out the different things that I can learn and then teach to my daughter and my younger family members. So I like to take full advantage of that and introduce that to my daughter and my little cousins at an early age so that they can appreciate it and know that it's somewhere that's fun, that's safe, and that's educational. Discovery World is very safe to visit, especially after um, COVID, because they have the, taken the precautionary steps for us to enjoy the museum safely. We're always socially distanced. We have markers on the floor, arrows to tell us where to go. There's sanitizer stations here, there, like everywhere. <laughs> and of course, everyone is wearing their mask. Our access to science is kind of limited outside of Discovery World and school, especially within, you know, the inner city. We can go to school or we can do online learning all day. But still, when you come to a place like Discovery World, you get that hands-on feeling. You get that hands-on experience. Like, you can't do that at school. You can't learn about wheat energy or test how the wind energy moves. You can't touch a stingray at home. And here, it's just here instantly. So. I think we'll be, we'll be losing a lot of things if we didn't have a place like Discovery World. Everyone should come here, not only once, but if you can't come as often, come at least once a season because there are so many things to learn, so many things to introduce our children to. And if you see this place, you'll understand what I mean when I say just come and then the children will always want to come back.